welcome you all to the uh, Development Review Board uh, Monday, November 4th meeting. Um, we are in order now and staff will review the meeting procedures. All right, so uh, I am going to share my screen, although Jean, you're the only one on right now, but that's okay. You know the drill. All right. Um, so for anyone who is viewing tonight's meeting via Orca Media, you can participate in tonight's Development Review Board meeting via the Zoom platform using either video or telephone access options. Um, if you want the full video experience, you can type this link into your web browser. Alternatively, you can dial this phone number and when prompted, put in this meeting ID um, and either, either route there, I will get a prompt in Zoom to let you into the meeting so that you can ask us questions and um, get answers directly. Um, if anyone is having problems accessing the meeting, please email me at mcrandall at montpelier-vt.org. Um, for everyone attending via Zoom, turning your video on is optional. Um, if people do log on, please make sure to keep your microphone on mute when you're not speaking. This will help reduce background noise. Um, and note that the Zoom chat function should only be used for troubleshooting or logistics questions. Um, questions or comments about items on the agenda should be made verbally. Um, and because I know we have um, one person who might not be an applicant in the room here, I am going to just do a reminder that if you have a question or comment, um, there are times for that during each of the um, different agenda items um, and to make sure that you get recognized by the um, chair before you ask your question. And if you're here in the room, make sure you're at a microphone so that our um, recording secretary can get the question in the minutes. Um, in the event the public is unable to access tonight's meeting and I would get notification of that via my email, um, it will need to be continued to a time and place certain. I'll now hand the meeting back over to the chair. Okay, uh, let's go around in the room and identify ourselves, our board members, starting with Rob. Rob Goodwin, vice chair. <laughs> Meredith Crandall, staff. Uh, Sharon Allen, chair. Um, Jean? Hello, Jean Leon, DRB. Alex Halas, DRB. Great. Um, let's... Uh, Let's bring the uh, first applicant right up here. Approval of the agenda. Oh, we have to approve the agenda. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I'm all ready to swear in, though. <laughs> uh, okay. One moved. Second. Thanks. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Sounds like we are good with the agenda. And uh, let's have Katie come up in our first application. Jean, you're the only one on remotely, so as long as you don't have like a bunch of stuff going on in the background, feel free to just be unmuted at this point. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I feel like we're all pretty familiar with this application. Um, Katie, do you just want, just want to state what it's for? Oh, what? swearing in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was, I just said I was going to swear in, too. You did. Can you, raise, can you raise the right hand? Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth under the pains and penalties of perjury? I do. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my God, yes. <laughs> um, so we, uh, Vermont College of Fine Arts, uh, brought this application forward to subdivide a parcel that College Hall sits on. Um, and the reason that we're doing that, this is one more project that we are collaborating with Greenway um, Institute on. We're under contract to sell um, the building and that parcel of land to Greenway. Um, and we are, they are, we are planning to use the mm -hmm. land and the building very much exactly the way it is right now. Um, VCFA will lease space back in the building from Greenway. Um, and really the purpose of the subdivision is to allow for um, a scenario that um, creates a elegant financing structure where the building, college hall, and uh, the piece of land um, will be financed through, through traditional commercial financing, and then the green will be seller financing. 
Um, and so that is the reason for the application. We, it was just, was it last, our last meeting that you were here or the one before that? I think it was a couple of meetings. A couple of meetings ago when you were here. Um, and do we have any applicant or anybody here to speak on that that has questions or just to kind of look around at that? Okay. Uh, Rob, do you have any questions? Um, no, I think it's pretty straightforward, consistent with the, you know, the sketch plan, not a lot of changes. Um, I think there might be just a couple of minor changes to the plot, just consistent with like how we've had it in Montpelier. Like we've got some setbacks on the plot that um, I don't think, you know, historically we haven't had there. Maybe it's not a problem. Maybe you don't need to be there, but. Uh, it's the setbacks don't really, those can show or not. Um, we have things in our regulations that, that confirm that the setbacks are for like informational purposes. Right. They could be removed because they aren't, they might change yeah. um, versus boundary lines are a lot harder to change than setbacks. No, so yeah, that could be the setback. Could, setbacks could be removed. We don't need to be though. I mean, if that's, yeah. Okay. Forgot where we stood on that. <laughs> yeah. And I understand that the current use of the green is somehow covenanted to continue. It is. There, anyway. there is a um, easement on the green that the condo association um, has access I, I don't know um, if that is a covenant. It's an easement. I, I would use that word. Yeah. I, I don't think I don't think that that is. And I think also, I mean, one of the things that um, became very clear for us last time is that it doesn't matter what they're doing with that. They're asking. They're here asking about a subdivision of just this well, and this. Well, you know. Yeah. I, I mean, I would I would agree. I, I think that um, uh, it would make sense. There's a lot going on up here to sort of list out the rights at which other parcels around the college have in that college green parcel. If there's an easement, I think it would make sense to sort of list out on the plot, uh, you know, for that lot, who has it. Yeah, I, because that one is a little different, I don't, I have to look, let me pull up the survey notes in a way I can read them. Because <laughs> um, I can't remember if that's in here. So I know it's in the, it's referenced in some places, but um, do you remember off the top of your head, Katie, if it's I mean, in the I survey notes? I have said it's in there, but if it's not, I'd be happy okay. to not... get an updated um, plat that includes it. It sounds like it's in the condo association. It is. Yeah, it's in their um, condominium I don't know if it's in the declaration or, but it's it's referenced okay. in the condo association founding documents. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, and looking, uh, having looked through the application uh, yesterday, I guess, uh, you know, there's just so many things that are, that are not changing. You know, yeah. Yeah. pretty much nothing's changing. So it's like there's not any additional use or additional traffic or change in use or you know, I mean, so that it really feels like it's a pretty straightforward thing to me. Yeah, I agree. Same here. I mean, any people want to talk about it anymore? Nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I didn't entertain them. I, I think it's 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 not a big issue. I just think this is an opportunity to sort of like uh make a clean, organized way to communicate uh, you know, many of the you know, the things that have happened over the last few years, uh, to make this all work well. And it seems like it's headed in a great direction. So I think uh that doesn't we don't need to figure that out. So I, say? I think it, it doesn't specify specifically the easement, but because in the note saying the survey is based on one of the things it's based on is the subdivision survey um, prepared by Chase and Chase last revised February 5th, 2019, filed in slide 13 of the city of Montpelier land records. I think that's the one that was filed as and like then referenced in the condo association documents. I don't think it says, I'm not seeing in here actual, yeah. like a reference to the condo association documents, which is where the specifics of the easement and rights sure. would be. So maybe, I mean, I may have missed it, but I almost think if you want to dot every available I, that would be listed here because it does provide some rights yeah. to the land. 
That's the only thing I can no, think of. I think, it's, I think it's certainly covered. That makes sense logically, Mary. But yeah, I just think it might be a little bit easier it, for everybody it, to include. Yeah, well, and it does separate. say there may be additional easements restrictions and or reservations not shown, right? Yeah. They they always put the catch all. Jeff, Jeff Lynn's smart, so <laughs> of course it will. <laughs> No, but I, I don't have any other questions or issues. Those are the two, two things. Do you have any interest in making a motion? I'll, I can entertain a motion to approve a two parcel subdivision of 36 College Street as presented in application number Z 2024 0110 and supporting and supplemental materials subject to the following conditions of approval within 180 days of this. Decision applicant shall record the final survey plat in the Montpelier Land Records Office per the procedures detailed in 4405 of the zoning regulations, including the locations of all applicable survey rods and markers. Second. All right, let's do a roll call on this, Rob. Rob votes yes. Uh, yes. Uh, Jean? Yes. Alex? Yes. All right. Uh, and Brian's actually on there too. Oh, is Brian on there? I'm sorry. Yes. See you. <laughs> Great. Oh, there you go. Awesome. So that carries unanimously. Thank you very much. I will keep kind of know the drill. I'll get the decision written out as soon as I can. Um, and yeah, there's no conditions, pre permit conditions of approval. So once that decision is signed, I'll issue the permit too. And then when you're ready, you can get me the plat. Thank you. Thank you, Katie. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Oh. And I'm going to ask Meredith to give us a brief description. We want oh. to do swearing in. Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, whichever. Okay. Um, I can do. I can do the description first. Okay. Um, so this is before the board tonight. Um, this application for 35 Elm Street. It's a change of use and it's a conditional use. So I can't approve it. Um, there's there's not, I, I didn't really, there weren't any red flags. Um, there's a few places where the board has to be the one to make determinations. Um, specific, especially in the chapter 330. And, you know, I've I've laid out facts. I don't, I don't you know, we've, we've done a ceramic studio before. Yeah. Um, and yeah. so, you know, I have included the entire manual on the kiln because that's the the item really that has the most potential for an impact on the neighborhood if it were to have fumes or right. you know something funky but um i'm not seeing that being an issue here same with the other one but that's why this packet is so big um because it's one of those funky uses where i just try and get as much information as possible so that the board can weigh what the potential impacts on the neighborhood are. I have to admit, I did not read the entire manual. <laughs> it was uh, Barry Street, right? Yep, yeah. Barry Street is where the other one was. So I guess one question I had about this, and we'll let you talk in a minute. <laughs> it's like, asking who? You? Asking me, okay. Um, <laughs> it's like, uh, is, because that's included in this, are we sort of responsible to for its kind of upholding the manual on you know what I mean? Like do we take and we're are we taking responsibility for the documentation that he's submitted that is extensive? Um I don't I well, don't think yeah, I I think I don't think so. I mean it's evidence of um what what could be potential impacts is the way I would take it. Like do, it depends on how you're viewing it. Right? right. Um, you know, and it's just like when, you know, when somebody submits specifications for the windows that are going to be installed in a house for design review, like right. they're looking at aspects of that, that pertain to the questions they're asking. They aren't, taking responsibility for yes that window is actually going to work in that frame like the design review committee isn't taking that you know what i mean right. like that it's that they're not they're not they're not looking at where every nail goes right does that make sense uh sort of it seems a little different to me than when yes yeah. um, it, it, oh it is i was just trying to think of something yeah. i mean it's um you know i mean i just the, having the all board didn't have to know exactly how all of the distilling equipment worked 
at Bar Hill, right, to be able to approve. But that you didn't have a description use. of all the still. Did you have all the distillery equipment itemized? Uh, in I don't. Uh, you could have asked for it. You <laughs> could have. You know, I mean, it, <laughs> it seemed it seemed weird to have it in here because it's so much information that 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 we are not going to be deciding on. You know exactly. Well, right, exactly. but then that's also how am I supposed to figure out what in there you might ask questions about? So I err on the side of giving you more information okay? because I don't, right. I can't read all of that and know all the ins and outs. Right. <laughs> right. Right. I but, mean, that's, you know, it's like, I mean, I think that's where the public, the members of the public who might be able to read that and have pick out something that right. they have an issue with. Okay. Um, all right. I just, that was my question that I yeah. kept coming into tonight. And so I've gotten that answered sort of. Um, <laughs> the best I can. <laughs> can you uh, raise your right hand? You solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth under the pains and penalties of perjury? I do. Great. And can you introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Alexi. Hi. 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 Uh, you want to talk about your project? Yeah, I'm I'm going to, uh, I'm seeking to open a um small production studio for pottery at 35 Elm Street. Um, and it'll be um, a, also a small retail in the front, mm -hmm. um, probably about, I don't know, six by 12 retail in the front and the rest will be used for production. Cool. Um, possibly some workshops every once in a while. Um, and for like first Friday, we would do like an opening Sure. Kind of thing. So it's it's going to be kind of a multi-use, but mainly it's going to be for production. Cool. Yeah. Is it is that I was looking at the um, photos and stuff? It's where uh, the Elm Street chop shop or barber shop used to be. Is that right? Yeah, it's on that side. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah, it used to be a salon. I understand. I never saw Angie's it. place or chop shop are two right next to each other. Um, the one closer to the stairs to go upstairs, because the one on the right is the. European import store now. Yeah. So yes, yeah, so the one on the left. So despite all the <laughs> noise about the kiln, I'm not really concerned about it. having one in my basement. You know, I mean, <laughs> it, you know, it's just not an issue for me. <laughs> uh, um. So, uh, other equipment. Um. There will be a pug mill, but that's sort of, I mean, so mixing, mixing, and. Uh, mixing clay, yep. reclaim, uh, uh, Potter's wheel. Yeah. Those are the those are the main pieces of equipment that I can think of. Okay. I think there's going to be anything right. Else. All the rest of it's you. What's that? All the rest of it is you making bots. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, okay. So, uh, conditional use for this. Uh, this also seems like a terribly straightforward application. Um. It, it seems like, uh, I mean, and one of the things that I noticed on here was that, you know, it's like, how does it fit into the neighborhood? And it seems to just fit into the neighborhood beautifully. You know, you've got residential, you've got retail, you've got, you know, I love the idea of a production pottery there. That's great. You know, I mean, that, that seems perfect. And it's mixed residential and commercial, right? Yeah. So it's perfect for that yeah. bound. Excuse me. This is uh, right behind Ben Nails, correct? This is uh, adjacent to Ben Nails Bistro. Right? It's like, it's like down. The oh, street. Yeah. yeah. You thought it was there, man. Behind, basically behind it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Pull up the map. Was there a map? Oh, uh, there isn't really a map with that. I can pull one up, though. There's a picture. You'll recognize it. It was the yeah. shop shop. Yeah. Like Andy's Riverside Hair Salon. Let, yeah. Let me yeah. do. They're now on the very Montpelier Road. They're still called the Chop Shop. Yep. Oh. Yeah. 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 Right. Um, oh, wait. I just. Yep. I thought there was a. There was a picture in the application, wasn't there? It may, yeah. There may be something in there. May have been it's a gray building. Staff report. Yeah. There's a picture of the building. The parking lot next to it, and then there's sure chickpea, and then there's yeah, the chickpea, 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 and bent nail. Yep, it's right yeah. there. So, um, historic location. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Give me one second. Bent nail, chop shop, hippie chickpea. Yep. So here's bent nails. Right here's the building where this is gonna go, and mm -hmm. the building that had hippie chickpea is here. Yep. So there's two little um, parking lots nice. in between. Yeah. Um, and you know you've got the Royal Orchid here. Here's the laundromat. Here's School mm -hmm. Street. There's Langdon. So it's in between Langdon and School Street, right in there. 
right? Thank you. Um, other considerations in uh, conditional use, I think I saw a reference to traffic. I certainly don't think you're going to generate any kind of additional traffic over 75 car trips in your wild dreams. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's kind of a process question. I mean, we haven't had a conditional use downtown since the flood. Mm -mm. And um question that comes to mind is whether just like in this process we should be sort of just like kind of making sure that what many businesses and all the downtown I think very well of raising utilities and like sort yep. of tiering to the floodplain ordinance just you know being sure that that has is incorporated into the plan and you know and, and was taken care of yep so that's that's a whole separate so that building actually had the utilities all raised previously before this okay. use came in so um yeah that's already been done and the i mean the kiln and the equipment that is being brought in is considered appliances not utilities so the extra the the new like electric outlet there's a special outlet that needs to happen for the kiln that has to be make sure that's at the right height yeah. um but otherwise there's no other like electrical changes going on in the building um but there's you know there's other finish work so there's a building permit associated with the yeah. new use that's going in that that that's all getting layered in um but this is a building that, that had already been um repaired and had the um post flood work done and yep. permitted perfect yep. no, i just want to make sure that what was going on was compatible with that and it sounds yes. like it is so we're Very good. good to go yes oh it is mm -hmm. parking loading yeah fine there I would say it's pretty comparable given the use of what's, what's happened and the type of activity like on that part of Elm Street. It's pretty, very comparable with, you know, what's been going on and I think a great sort of next phase of <laughs> there. Yeah, yeah. Pretty good yeah. fit. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, do you have any questions about the process? Anything? Um, not the top line. Okay, that's totally fine. I just don't want to. Um, anybody else have comments on this application? I do. Just I'm trying to. Oh, there. Just trying to split my screen. On the application, flammable, toxic, or hazardous substance and waste. Um, I know it was uh, noted only non toxic materials are used, but. Um, from what I understand, and, and from a, years of an experience with the Shelbourne uh, ceramic clay studio, the any ceramics that might be um, wasted are is really highly flammable. So how is straight off, basically it's like straight off the the hot kiln. How is that disposed of or contained? Any any possible flammable ceramics that could what happened in the Shelbourne historic building of um, the clay studio there? Um, someone had thrown out some really hot ceramics into a a dumpster, and the dumpster caught fire. That caught then caught the adjacent neighbor's garage on fire. It was a mess. So oh. that's why I ask. Um, that sounds like maybe a raku firing where you take the hot ceramic out of the kiln and you put it into flammable material to do reduction with the co-reduction um mm -hmm. i won't be doing any of that here um it's all going to be electric fired okay, fired in the electric kiln and then it won't even come out of the electric kiln until it's cold you know, <laughs> i mean i'm impatient so it comes out when it's like 350 but you know so it's like the the temperature of a hot oven yeah. Right, something. right. Perfect. Thank definitely you. Definitely nothing on fire. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah. I don't have any further questions. This is a no. small kiln. It's it's a yeah, it's sort of a um I mean it's a you know consumer side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's so not a, it's not, a not huge... talking about right. right. It's right. like a six burger stove or something. I mean, it's really a small item. 
Yeah. That's round. Right, right, yeah. It's not yes. like the major English pottery is setting up a, you know, right. <laughs> right. racks of stuff going through. Right. Well, huh. I'll make a motion unless anyone else has anything else. Mm -hmm. All right. Motion, motion to grant uh, the request for conditional use and minor site plan approval to convert 450 square feet of space at 35 Elm Street to a ceramic studio with bolt light manufacturing and retail sa sales indoor uses uses as presented in the application Z 2024-0111 and supporting supplemental materials. Um, no conditions to add on this. I'll second that. For your discussion. Hearing none, let's take a vote. Rob votes yes. Yes. Uh, Gene? Yes. Brian? Brian? Brian, you're muted. Alex? Yes. That's four. Yeah, that's all you need. That's, that's all we need. <laughs> <We're good. laughs> uh, yeah, so um, your application has been approved. Thanks very much. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Um, so, Alexi, yeah. uh, so the official, you know, approval isn't until I've gotten you a written decision. Okay. So we'll do a written decision because there's no pre-permit industry thing. Once that decision is done and signed by Sharon, um, I'll also be issuing the permit, um, the zoning permit, because that's got the one with the 30-day appeal period. Um, and then uh, Michelle will work on the building permit too, um, and we'll get that all dealt with. But um, yeah. 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 Thanks. Congratulations. And good uh -huh. luck. That's fun. What's the aim for opening? Really hoping to get it open by Christmas or by, by um, you know, December 1st. Yeah. So, I mean, at least to have the retail section. Yeah. Open, so that that's awesome. Yeah. Were you able to look at the staff report and pull that off of the pending applications page? Or were you not able to get into the pending applications page where the meeting materials were? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, because yeah, the you'll want to talk to Michelle if you haven't already about the occupancy ability for that small space because that'll limit like your class size. So she'll she'll talk with you about that if you guys haven't met on site yet. Um, but that'll be probably part of the building permit. Thank you. All right. Um, has everybody had a chance to review the September 16th, 2024 meeting minutes? Uh, he said history. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm. Let's take a look. You know, really I, 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 very back bottom of the packet. <laughs> the very bottom of the packet. Last item, last page. Oh, yeah, I did. Look. Yeah. Move to accept. Yep. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Dean, Brian? I, I wasn't present, but yes. Okay. Yeah, we. I mean, we've got, you can still vote for them. That, like, you yeah. don't see any, you know, any text errors, any, like, copy uh, edit errors. Right, right. So, yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks, Gene. Um, so just to not be completely repetitive, but to check back on this thing. So that whole thing about having the manual, the whole manual in there. I mean, one, I thought, I mean, I guess I see where you're, I mean, I don't totally see where you're coming from in the sense you want to get all the information in there. Um, I, so I could say you need to give me a statement about what you're doing yeah and that's all you have right right unless you then ask for the manual in a meeting and if he doesn't have it handy right right, right? if if i get materials from somebody in response to questions that i've asked them mm -hmm. i just put those materials okay. in the packet because otherwise if we have to hunt for it when i like because i didn't ask for the full right. thing then or they yeah. you know if they gave I it if they was... give it to me right i put it in of course um because I don't want to be responsible for, for winnowing it yeah, and yeah. missing something that somebody yeah. then, like, when I say, hey, what are the specifications for your kiln? And they send me the whole manual. I'm just going to put that in. Yeah. Um, 
you know, it's, I, it's one thing if I have a big packet and part of the, the application needs to be reviewed by the design review committee. Mm -hmm. And then the whole thing needs to be reviewed by you. I'll winnow stuff down for the design review committee because they just are really looking sure. at the outside of the right. building. Right. Absolutely. Um, but like my deciding what the public should or shouldn't see. Yeah. And once the public's seen it, you guys kind of have to see it. Yeah. Yeah. But if the only germane issue was venting, you know, toxicity. Yeah. I don't know. We could get into a lot in depth discussion, yeah. uh, depending on who shows up uh, and asks questions. Right. And it's just yeah. great yeah. to have it there. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. I don't know. It's just in maybe we don't like look at it I during your it. initial review, but like I, we can at least like, you know, pause and take the extra. I mean, right. We need to take a 15 minute recess. It's like, oh, we better review this because there's questions. <laughs> we can avoid uh, kicking it to, you know, the next meeting to, oh, we needed some more oh, information. Oh, but yeah. it's really dramatic when it's printed out. E. Yeah. E. Oh, <laughs> I, I know. She knows. I'm, just, I'm yeah. really thankful that I don't have to print nine printed packets yeah. for yeah. every meeting anymore. Right, right. But like, but I work to have a link. Um, it, it's, I mean, it, it was all linked out there for some of it. I could honestly, for this one, yeah. the time it would have taken me to parse out which of those pages out of that manual yeah. I should print and shouldn't. Well, no, I meant instead of printing. Just having a link to just a online a link. link. I can, as long as, yeah, I mean, I could for in future, if I have a 50 page document from somebody, yeah. I could have that. If, if you, people who get printed packets are okay with it, have that only be available online. That's assuming that, you know, that's also then if, if there's a member who doesn't want it that way, yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah, picking and choosing anyway. who gets what. Yeah, in yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. I just, I just wanted to check yeah. out why that was happening the way it was, you know, and I did. And like, I yeah, think normally, my only uncomfortableness was like, so am I approving something saying that I've read this manual yeah. and it applies to this project and then it's going to be okay? I, <laughs> yeah, I, I think kind of. you're, you're approving the parts that relate to the, right. So the venting parts were something that we have been right. The stuff, the there. stuff that relates to the criteria, Yeah, not, you know, it's not your job to make sure that that kiln is compatible with the electric wiring in that building. Right. That's a building inspector's job. <laughs> sure. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, so that yeah. aspect is just, it's not within your jurisdiction. Okay. So is so, that a liability question? I was just, I was just, like I said, I was just feeling, you know, that was a daunting, there was, and there's two manuals, right? Because there's two different, there's the control board and then there's the actual right. panel. So, oh yeah. No, I know. I, I, I did, you know, at least look through it, yeah. you know, and I was like, oh my God, am I, what is this? <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's, we don't have too many things like that, luckily. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, I know, which is Great. awesome. That's very cool. Where is the other one? On Elm Street, where the little grocery store used to be in the Berry Street. Berry Street. Berry Street. Yeah. In, yeah. Uh, uh, the green. Green. Yeah, uh, green rabbit or something. Yeah. yeah. And then Mud Studio, of course, in Waterbury. That one I really to be yeah. Um, Which is much bigger. Do we have any further items or things you want to chat about? Or do we have a meeting coming up or do we not? December. Uh, we have no new applications for November. So our next meeting date, assuming I get an application um, timely, will be December 2nd. Because, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we've got, it's just been, it's been slow for projects for oh. DRB. Um, we've been getting a lot of other stuff done. We did a big, um, we're doing a big push to try and make sure we get everybody who hasn't gotten permits for flood repairs. So we actually just worked on doing a big mailer. Yeah. Um, I, I bet you there's a lot of people still focused on that. Yeah. That kind of there's, like, how are we going to make this work? How are we not going to, you know, yeah. so that I can see why people are not tackling new yeah, your own office again. Uh, not a hundred percent, but yes, we have moved to one Blanchard. Um, oh. so the Leonine affairs building, um, and instead of five of us in one room, it's five of us in three rooms. It's much better. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> we are not all listening to each other, you know, breathing anymore. Right. So um, it's, we've had one, one full week in the space and we're looking forward to, to week two and, and getting used to getting used to the quiet again. Yeah. Um, is, that, is that temporary as well? Or as Yeah. Well? I mean, this is knowing, going into it, knowing it's long-term temporary um, until city hall gets <laughs> completely renovated they have to go through the full process um and the the plan assuming it's all approved at all levels is going to be to um flood proof the basement and right. have non-essential stuff in down down there like meeting rooms mm -hmm. um and then our offices instead of being in the basement when we go back in will be on the main floor um but that wow. means that they've really got a you know the basement isn't being used for anything right now they have to flood proof that and then fix those spaces move anything down there that's going to go down there and then renovate the um, council chambers and meeting, you know, council chambers and memorial room yeah. um, to be office space. Yeah. And in keeping with, you know, historic requirements, floodplain requirements and all of that. So it's going to be a little while. I would entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All right. All in favor. Aye. 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 Aye.